Hey guys, Rim Merchant Gaming here, and today we're taking a look at the latest standalone expansion for the Saints Row series, and this is Saints Row Get Out of Hell. Now this actually is released, it has released alongside Saints Row Re-Elected, which is Saints Row 4 re sort of mastered for the current generation uh, consoles. I do have a review out right now for that on my channel, so be sure to go check that out. Um, I will also annotate that in the video right now. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. The Saints Row Get Out of Hell is the latest um, piece of content if you will and uh, it basically sends you to hell as Gat and you have to then piss off Satan. Now you can play as Kenzie as well but not to destroy too much of the story because uh, there are spoilers in the story um, yeah you, you just have to piss off Satan. Now unless you've played Saints Row 4 you won't really get what's going on um, so I do recommend you play Saints Row 4 or um, slash and re-elected um, to find out what goes on beforehand, but if you have already played it, then you'll be right at home with Gat of Hell. So Gat of Hell is quite a fun game. It uh, Hell is actually quite a big place. I was surprised at how much they'd put into this standalone, actually, um, with the map size and variety of weapons. You know, the zaniness still carries on and carries over, so you've got some crazy ass weapons to use. And um, well, my personal favourite was the chair with mini guns and rockets, but there's all sorts of other cool weapons to use. You'll be doing missions for various people as well such as Shakespeare and Blackbeard and um, you know these missions are kind of dull I found them quite boring they're very much like side missions rather than full complete missions and I didn't find them quite as compelling as many of the Saints Row 4 missions so for me that was kind of disappointing I didn't find the missions uh, very f fulfilling but Saints Row Gat of Hell will take you around 7 to 8 hours to finish, and that's quite a good amount of time for a standalone piece of DLC. Um, and to be honest, if you like creating Carnage, then this will be the game for you. But if you're still in love with the way Saints Row 4's mission structure worked, you may be out of sync with Saints Row Gat of Hell. So, guys, this gets a 5 out of 10 from me. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you soon with another review, guys. Cheers.